Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial. Today's video, I'm going to show you the free equivalent of Photoshop. This is something I don't use because I like to be able to edit things offline, but I also understand that many of you don't like to pay for things as much as I do. <laughs> and this is a pretty decent alternative and you don't necessarily have to create an account, though an account might be nice. I personally don't because I don't use this tool enough. Things are organized a little bit differently, which can throw me off a lot. Let's just go ahead and move on. So first off, you need to open up a web browser and go to pixlr.com. Then we will scroll down and we are going to select Pixlr Editor. We're going to select Launch Web App for Pixlr Editor. You will need the latest version of Java installed or flat, no, it's flash. Uh, you can create a new image, open image from computer, you can open an image from URL, and if you have an account, then you can open an image from the library. But for this video, I'm going to do the Pixlr equivalent of making a JPEG into a PNG. So basically, I'm going to do follow the same process that I did in my Photoshop tutorial in here. I'm going to open image from computer, select open, and we can make our workspace a little bit bigger. So first things first, going to come up to layer, new layer. Currently our main layer is locked. We need to unlock it. So we just need to double click it like it says. So now we are free to move the layers around. Like I said, this works in a pinch, but everything works differently by a little bit or is arranged differently by a little bit than Photoshop. So we're going to come up to our main working layer, come to our zoom tool or our magnifying glass, gonna zoom in a lot. Then, unfortunately in Pixlr they do not have a magnetic lasso tool. You just got your polygon and you, your normal lasso and that's probably gonna be our best bet. So we're just going to kind of draw around the shape. Gonna try to get as close as I can uh, to the edges. And then I just need to make sure that I come join back up with the first area and you're not going to get like a circle or anything you just need to make sure it's all conjoined so next you'll come up to edit select invert selection at this point you can grab your eraser tool and start erasing around the outside or you can just simply hit delete come back to edit hit deselect all then we can zoom in and use our move tool to move the image around a bit and then we can use our eraser tool you can select the brush type um, as you can see, we have some more solid looking brushes and we also have more transparent or feathered eraser tools and I can do the type of erasing I did in my Photoshop tutorial. <laughs> need to move my image up. So that is kind of my rough erasing. I don't want to spend time doing those because if you've watched my Photoshop tutorial then you basically kind of see you know what that's supposed to look like. And that's more or less how you remove a background. To save this you will come up to file, save, then you'll select your format. I want it as a PNG and I think PXD is basically Pixlr's version of a dot psd which is what a photoshop document is but i'm saving it as a png for the transparent background i can rename and then hit ok it's going to again save it to my desktop so again here is our original image and here is our png version again for the sake of the video i just kind of went through this quickly i would have done what i did over here to these two um, and I probably would have used the feather eraser instead of the solid on the edge. And that basically does it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you can get a big thumbs up. You can click right over here to subscribe to res the respective channels. And you can click right over here to see my previous video. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye